Hello and welcome to Cancer Update 115. I had an unusual day yesterday and I'd like to talk you through it. I had a really good day. Uh, I've not, it's probably the best day I've had um, since my operation. So I just thought I'd like to talk you all through that and I'm going to show you the video of what I did yesterday as well. What made it, what started it off was that a friend of mine had some free tickets to the football, the football game yesterday between the West Coast Eagles and Richmond. When he initially told me that I could have these tickets if I wanted them, my initial thought was to say no, because my feet are gonna hurt, my back is gonna hurt, and I don't wanna to be too far away from a bathroom that I'm familiar with because I've got a colostomy bag that I need to em empty four to five times a day. So w when he made that offer, my first instinct was to go, no, no, I don't wanna do this. But I talked it through with Caroline, and as it turns out, the weather in Perth at the moment has been pretty fine for the last week, and it seems like the neuropathy in my feet is is better in in mild weather. So my feet were hurting yesterday, but not as much as they could have. Um, and I eventually came around to the conclusion that it was going to be okay to, to go to the football, and I'm really glad that I did because it turned out great. So I'm making this video for a couple of sets of people. One is, I, I've come to realise in the last few videos that there's a whole lot of you that genuinely care about me. And um, that that's, um, makes me feel really good. Uh, there's much more of you than I, th I thought there, there was. Um, and you really do care about me. And that means hopefully you're gonna watch the rest of this video and be really happy to see that I had a happy day yesterday. So, so if you're one of those people, then this video is for you. Another group of people that I made this video for are people that are like me, which means you've probably got some kind of illness or something going on in your life that's making you want to stay at home all the time. And maybe you have friends that are asking you out and maybe you're deliberately saying no because it, it, you've formed a habit or, of saying no because you've, you've got so inside of, inside of yourself that you, you, I guess you're just afraid basically to go outside. So if that's you, I'd like to show you this video just to show you that if you do take the right precautions in, in terms of whatever your needs are. So in, in my case, I needed to make sure that I had protection from the sun and that I had a, a TENS machine for my back pain. Um, and I had some, um, some supplies for the colostomy bag and I had some um, pain medication. That when you do take the right precautions, you actually can get out of the house and you never know, you might actually have a good time. So if you're one of those people, please do think about getting out of the house and actually doing something. I, I found it uh, really good for my mental health um, to in the end say yes to yesterday. The last group of people I'd like to um, make this video for are people that are just feeling really alone and maybe you don't have friends that are contacting you saying, hey, let's go somewhere. If that's you, I, I, I don't have a, you know, an instant solution for you. But what I'd say is maybe just do something really simple like getting out onto your, onto your patio area and just getting the sun on your face just to uh, experience a bit of nature you know get outside and look at look at the wind blowing through the trees and look at the birds and um, see that there is a world outside because you're, you're probably getting really uh, wrapped up in being inside so try and get outside um, yeah so anyway if uh, you're in one of those three categories I'm hoping you are then here's the video of the really great day that I had yesterday no okay just no <laughs> and do the dance Alrighty. Well, hello there. That is the uh, comedic introduction to this cancer update. Um, today, I've been really lucky that one of my friends has three um, tickets that were going unused to the um, West Coast, I think it's Richmond game mm -hmm. today at Optus Stadium. Mm -hmm. So we're getting ready for that. So we've got our hats off. Oh, firstly, sorry, there's an introduction I have to do here. Um, this is Ricky, perhaps you could do some introducing. Uh, hello, uh, this is Sammy. Sammy, say hello to the world of Paul and Ricky. <laughs> so Sammy is uh, Ricky's new 
Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. It's official. And I'm grateful. Yeah. Gee, for grateful. Uh, there you go. So we're heading. We're about to head off to the footy. Um, so we've got our hats. My hat didn't fit. Yeah. We've got our sunscreen. Um, I need something for my ankylosing spondylitis, so I'm taking my TENS machine awesome. with some brand new um, electrodes. And in the back of the pack, I've also got a wet wipe there. Um, just in case I need to change my colostomy bag, I'm taking an empty bottle because the rules say I'm not allowed to take a full bottle there to the stadium. Um, in case I get too much sun, I've got a, um, a fisherman's a fisherman's shirt. And just in case my feet get really painful, I'm taking some painkillers. So I just wanted to show you that um, when when you are in one of these, and I'm only, you know, let's be honest, there are people a lot more um, disabled than me that are going to be at the footy today. You do actually have to put quite a bit of thought into it, into what yeah. you take. Yeah. Um, so I'm taking, you know, a fair few precautions for ankylosing spondylitis, being an ostomate and um, and having peripheral neuropathy. But I mean, people that um, have, that are in a wheelchair, for example, they'd be taking all kinds of um, um, precautions and things, extra things that they have to take just to go to the footy. So um, if you're able-bodied and you're watching this, just think about those people and all the extra effort they have to put in. So there you go. Mm. All right. So um, we'll give you some progress shots along the way. It's going to be a good game. Yes. It's going to be a good game. Good morning, guys. So we're here at the games. We're now calling out the uh, players that are going to play. So here you go. Okay, so it's quarter time. As you can see there on the scoreboard, the Eagles are three goals one, which is 19 points, to four goals three, 27 points. For those of you that don't know AFL, every goal is worth six points. And this is what the field looks like. I'll give you some more, I'll do some more footage, footage later of the actual game. So it's three quarter time, and the Eagles are actually ahead, which is great. It's 15 goals, 8, 98 to 8 goals, 8, 56. So we're in front, and we're having a really good time. Yeah. So we've arrived back at home and to our absolute delight, Caroline has gone to a, a fish market, uh, Kalis Brothers, and has bought some delicious fish and scallops and has done a lovely salad. So I want to say thank you to Caroline. I also want to say thank you to the people that have supported this channel. Um, with the donations to Rare Cancers Australia, I wasn't actually able to purchase things like fish from a fish shop. But what it did do was it allowed me to um, use money that would otherwise have gone to uh, things like medication and utilities bills and use it on this lovely ev evening meal. So to all of you that donated and all of you that wish you could have donated but just didn't have the funds, thank you so much. This is, this is one thing that your money has bought and we're really enjoying it. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Kezi, there you go. Okay. See you guys. Thanks. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please do click the care button. And don't forget those words from Sarah Pog, which is, be kind and make good choices. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.